we are very honored to be entering the studio of artist Michael Burt. Beautiful space here in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Come on in. Let's take a look at what Michael's doing. We walk into Michael's studio and living space and we see some of his art, some of his sculpture. This is not your average artist studio. <laughs> Michael is not a slob. <laughs> Michael, thank you for opening up your studio. Well, thank you for coming and, and taking a look at my studio and looking at my work and, and discussing what we're going to be doing at the, the uh, expo. Well, we're very honored. Michael is going to be one of our art, artisan material expo teachers. And he's going to be teaching a class on a three-hour drawing class where we're going to have a live model. Come on over here. Let me show you. This is examples of the kind of thing that's going to be at the expo class. It's going to be on paper, charcoal. With the live model. This is just a fantastic place you live in. This is so cool. It's so great to be here. Great energy in this place. Can you tell us a little bit about your process? Yeah, actually what I wanted to do with the workshop, uh, I've always draw, done drawings that are very sort of classically rendered, and that means I'm working on a tone ground and working both highlights and shadow. And I like doing that because it allows you to have already the mid-tone established, so you're not just working off white paper. And um, I don't really treat the paper like a lot of other people. What I do is a mixture of riboskin glue and, and dry pigments. And I, and I create the tone myself. And what that does is, is, it tone, is it gives the paper another layer of size, which actually makes the paper a little bit tougher. And it also gives a little bit of tooth, so that when you work on it, it actually uh, takes the charcoal better. And you can technically, you could work off of this ground with oil, acrylic, gouache, anything, because the sizing seals it so that you're not going to have the paper rot with uh, oil or anything else. It's a great material to work off of. And uh, when I work from life, generally I try to get the drawing first established in, in sort of a, a white and gray tone, known sort of like a grisaille. And from that you get all of the information you need in terms of the contour and the volumes. And then from there you can start adding color, and eventually you get more and more color. So what I want to do in that three hour demo is show you how I prepare the paper, how I start the drawing, how I lay it in, and then start building up the tone and then get some color at the end. And that should all be done within a three hour period. And Michael is also going to be teaching in Rome. He's gone to Rome the last couple of years that I've known him, and I think you have, uh, they've asked you now to be an instructor there? Yeah, actually this was, this program was started about three years ago by two friends of mine who were sculptors. They're, they're two of the best sculptors in the country. And they started off just with sculpture workshop, and they've expanded it now to include uh, painting and drawing. And this is the first year they're going to have nine different sessions, and I'm going to be one of the artists in the session. And I'll be teaching egg tempera, which is my primary panel painting, uh, painting material. You can see here, these are all jars of uh, dried pigment that I mix with, uh, with water to a paste consistency. And that's basically, egg tempera is simply uh, the egg yolk and dried pigment mixed together. It's known as tempera because you're tempering the pigment with the egg. And it's an early renaissance technique. It predates oil painting and a lot of the uh, uh, early renaissance and religious iconography were done in egg tempera. And so I'll also be doing gold leaf demo along with the egg tempera and in the history of Rome, surrounded by all the great examples. It's I, bet it, I bet it really sucks to be there. Oh, huh? man, <laughs> unbelievable experience. I mean, the experience is remarkable for, for several reasons. Not only because you're in Rome, but the, the, the artists that come into the program are from all over the world. Wow. And so you're, you come, you arrive, you're in this, in this villa where you're working right off uh, Campo di Fiori, which is a marketplace every day of the week. How so you can, cool. you can get whatever you want at the marketplace. Go, you go up, you work six hours in the day, then you go out into the city, you go to all the museums, then you have dinner with the artists that you've been working with and going to museums with. You discuss wow. your day, wow. and then you, you share apartments together, and then you start the day again the next day. It is the most extraordinary immersion into art that I've ever experienced. And when, when is the workshop? Uh, it'll be the end of July, uh, end of June, early July. Okay. They have two sessions. One, one is sort of mid-June to end of June, and then end of June to early July is the second session. Okay. 
Yeah. We'll, we'll put a link to that, anybody interested in that. But I have to show one more thing before we leave Michael's place. The test of a true artist is when you walk into their kitchen. <laughs> and you walk into the kitchen and then you look at the spice rack. And in the spice rack, not only do you have nutmeg and sea salt and garlic, you have cobalt blue, burnt umber, and raw sienna, cad red light, and cad, ye cad yellow medium, which is actually very poisonous, I hope Michael <laughs> knows. So... Anyway, Michael, thank you. It's been a real blessing well, to be here and a great yes. experience. My pleasure. And, and uh, onward and upward. All right. <laughs> thank you.